I guess the, the analogy would be, have been better if I said, how do we balance evil? The good. How do we balance the negative? The positive. So that um, B, I'm not going to just pronounce where I'm going to go. So uh, B is going to be a positive three. three. Then, and we only have one vanadium, the vanadium has to be positive three. Right. Okay. Uh, remember that um, if we have a situation where we have uh, uh, plus three and a minus two, we can do our swap. And actually, the next example I'll give is going the other way, and we can kind of talk through that. Does that make sense? Um, yeah, let me actually do it right there. Okay, so the other way I can ask you this question, which I did in 26, and this is 26B, uh, was I can give you the, um, the name and ask you uh, to give me, what is this? This is like a molecular formula, right? Mm -hmm. um, so chromium 3 oxide is what I give you. Okay, so what's that going to look like for molecular formula? Well, so we look at our periodic table. Chromium is what? CR. Uh, CR, right? Yep. And then uh, oxygen is O. And we give you guys this plus three uh, because I'm giving you the formal name. Uh, this guy is a plus three. This guy is a minus two. This is where we can swap. And so our final answer is going to be CR. Two, oh, three. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is one of the toxic chromium compounds um, that uh, makes coming very uh, dangerous. Hexavalent, I believe they call it. Um, yeah. So. Mm. So you right. give us the first one, and you want us to come up with the second. One. Yeah, yeah. So these are the two ways I can do this problem. I can have to go this way, or I can have to go back. All right. Alright, um, so exam two, this one, uh, people struggled on a little bit. Hmm. Oh, oh man. I really want you guys to enjoy these muscles. I had to keep them refrigerated. Dude, uh, I haven't eaten breakfast, so I wouldn't enjoy them up and you guys don't mind me talking about yeah. awful a little bit. Yeah. Pardon? Um, there are not that many of them that I can use. Yeah, right. Right. They're refrigerated, so I have oh, to gourmet on them. There's more of one of them. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 Into that one. It will go up here again. I brought it from my church. I don't want to take them to the church. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bring all the food to the church. So, exam two, we had some more uh, metric, um, you know, uh, conversion type stuff. Um, this is where we also started talking about grams per mole. Right. That's the amounts, the grams to atoms, and those types of calculations. We are not quite perhaps that you could also go all the way from atoms all the way to milliliters or centimeters cubed if you use the, the you know the bad uncle. Um, but he um, you know was, was nice and um, didn't quite go that far. Um, so let's see here. Uh, the calculation on this that I gave you, I did give you guys, that's funny, I did give you guys a meter to put calculation on that one. Huh? Okay. It's not a standard one. I was actually just trying to make it the easiest problem as possible for you guys, just to help you guys, maybe, you know, do better. So I gave you the conversion on that. Um, uh, do you guys want to go over that one? The grams per mole, we definitely want to go over, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the grams per mole is a little more important. Um, so. Uh, for example, I will start with the grams per mole, and um, we'll kind of talk through a couple of those. Uh, let's see here. And then, so I broke it down into two parts. Um, I will do uh, question two and question three, which kind of broke down the same question. Um, and uh, But I'll probably just do atoms of oxygen versus doing both. Okay. Um, and then, because there's a lot of other stuff on here that I want to go over, this is actually a pretty good one to go over. Um, they're all good. They're all 
very good. Uh, the one thing I will say is although there are some multiple choice questions on this, on my multiple choice questions, those three or four that I'm going to put on there, I'm not going to limit it to this. It will be exam wise, but they'll be specific to the lab. I mean, you know, uh, narrowing it down to stuff, but we've got, I'll try and highlight things that I think are a little important. Uh, all right, so uh, the problem given, uh, 2, 4, 6, trinitrotoluene, aka TNC, has the molecular formula uh, C7H. C7H5N3O6. Thank goodness I wasn't trying to chew on that button. So. Yeah. Okay, um, so uh, I ask you, I break it down. Um, I ask you to give me the molecular formula. And um, with that molecular formula, uh, uh, you know, or sorry, I ask you to give me the molecular mass because that's one of the steps along the problem. And so it breaks up the problem. So I ask if you're given C7H5N3O6, uh, the structure that uh, uh, you probably got my daughter on the terrace watch list for 10. Um, let's see here. Uh, we need to figure out the molecular mass. Um, so we find, we've got a time, where's the C? Okay. So we're going to go. Um, Number of C times yeah. uh, uh, what 12.01? Uh, 12.07. Oh, uh, zero 01. Yeah, so let's just go to uh, uh, the 12.01 is, is fine. It's probably uh, yeah. yeah, you can actually approximate it at 12. I typically don't on most of them. Uh, I think the only, yeah, I think I usually do the whole number, but for you guys, approximation is probably 91. Um, as long as it's not like, you know, 22.25 or something. I don't know why I call that 22. So, um, number C, would that be 7 times the 12 points? Yes. Yep. Okay. Uh, times the number of hydrogens uh, times 1. <coughs> and then that's going to be plus the number of nitrogens. Uh, times 3. And then finally, plus the number of oxygens, uh, and that's going to be times six. Okay. Um, so we can do this calculation pretty fast. Um, well, isn't nitrogen no, no, sorry, times sorry, sorry, fourteen? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Imagine, are going crazy. Uh, uh, Fifteen, uh, fourteen point zero. Yeah. Sorry, I was, I was starting to write the. Uh, you can do it both ways. So, um, and then the number of oxygens times fifteen point nine nine. That's what I use for you guys in year 16. I use the 2.99. Pretty darn close, right? Um, and then you're going to get the molecular uh, uh, weight, which we call also the molar mass. And so this is going to be 227.14. Mm -hmm. uh, 227.14. 227.14. Now, in the question, I specifically, uh, well, number one, is this correct? 227.14, is that the correct answer? Um, do you want us to put it in grams? Grams. Oh, grams. Grams per mole. Grams per mole. Grams per mole. Now, is that the final question? Final no. No, because I asked specifically in the question probably. Oh, I didn't on this one. No, that's okay. Um, you're going to want to round to some level of significant digits uh, less than infinity. So don't put a bunch of numbers on there. Um, I think in the, uh, the problem, you're given, um, you know, these are basically going to be your guides for the molecular, or the, the number of big things. I just know a lot. Um, I'm not too terribly concerned about that at this late state, because you guys kind of have an idea of how the big things work or whatever. Um, okay, so uh, you get that 227.14. I'm assuming probably 227 is probably where you're going to want to be. And making sure that you get the units in there because that's part of the end. Okay, uh, from there, I wanted you to uh, determine if the stick of dynamite contains 28.5 grams of TNT, how many molecules of TNT are in the stick of dynamite. And so, um, so this is where we have to relate. Um, I'm going to move over here. So I want to remind you guys of this relationship between um, 
Who's number? Avogadro's. Avogadro's number? Yep. Um, so, uh, we have uh, Avogadro's number uh, any day is equal to what? One uh, mole. One mole in it. Right. We have Avogadro's number of eggs. There's a lot of eggs. I hope my chickens never lay that many eggs. Uh, they have very to have one mole of eggs, right? Uh, so, I've read this number, um, uh, 6.02 uh, times 10 to the uh, Something is equal to one mole, um, something. Okay? And so, uh, uh, how do we relate, uh, so how do we relate Avogadro's number to grams? Well, we have to use our moments. Right. right? <coughs> So, if we're giving a question, we're giving a question of uh, 28.5 grams of TNT, um, TNT per one stick of dynamite, 